Hi, welcome to our video. Today I'm very excited to show you this phone from Rugex. Now Rugex is a trusted UK brand in rugged phones, smartphones and tablets. Now this is their latest 4G model. It's called the Scorpio and as with Rugex phones, it's rugged, it's tough, it's durable and it's waterproof. The great thing about this one is it's nice and thin also. Now let's get started. So first of all, we've got a lovely 5.2 inch screen. We've got the touch capacitive buttons on the bottom here. On the side, we've got a volume rocker up and down. We've got a power button. And on the other side, we've got a dedicated camera button and we've got the slot for your SIM and your memory card. On the bottom, we've got a USB charging port. And on the top, we've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks for your headphones. And at the top, we've got a dual camera. And on the back, we've also got a dual camera and a fingerprint reader. Of course, there's a flash there as well. And on the bottom, we've got the loudspeaker, obviously for hands-free cool. Now on the side, we've got this metal armor, which gives it a bit more structure and strength, making it more durable. Now let me show you what it comes with. It comes with a USB charging cable. It's of the flat variety. It's a good quality charger. And it comes with a pair of headphones. You can listen to your music and take phone calls from it because it's got a little microphone on it too. Of course, it comes with a UK charger. You just pop that out and it's a free pin UK charger. It's a dual port USB, so you can actually charge two devices with it too. So that's a nice bonus. And it comes with an English quick start manual. It's nothing special, but it will get you started. And finally, it comes with the little SIM pin. So you can use this to pop your uh, SIM tray out. Okay, I want to show you the waterproof test now. After all, this is a waterproof phone. So you do need to make sure, if you are going to do this, make sure the top and bottom ports are firmly shut. You need to make sure they're flush and really firmly in. And you've got a side port there as well for the SIM card. Do make sure that's firmly shut as well. So again, make sure the top, bottom and the side are firmly closed. Again, don't do this if you don't need to i just want to show you that it is waterproof now if i drop it in there you can see it's fully immersed now it's ip68 rated which means it can be fully immersed into a meter deep of water for up to 60 minutes so um you know it it should cover you for accidental drops in puddles and things like that so it does cover most scenarios now the other thing i want to show you um if i get this phone out you can see it hasn't harmed it in any way. The screen's all working and things. Now, the other great thing about this phone is other tough, rugged phones and waterproof phones, if you get a, a, a just a speck of water or just a drop of water on the screen, it's completely unusable and it cannot be used. This phone doesn't suffer from that. You can see it's got the water droplets on the screen and it can be used with a little bit of water. Of course, it's got lots of water. It may not work, but this screen is really quite good and sensitive and it will work with a bit of water on it okay let me show you how the sims go in so you've got your little sim tray door you get your little sim card tool put it into the hole and then just pull the sim tray out now this can take two sims so it can take two nano sims one on each side or it can take one nano sim and one micro sd card up to 128 gig then the sim tray just pops into the side there carefully now let me show you how it works we unlock it and on the bottom here we have our quick shortcuts to our phone contacts messaging internet and in the middle we've got our app tray this is where all the apps live and at the bottom we've got our capacitive touch buttons, menu, home and back. And at the top we've got our quick settings. Now from here we can access all our quick settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data, GPS, all that kind of stuff. It's a two page so you can scroll across to get to the second page. Now let's make out a call. So to make out a call you just dial out the number and call out. And it's simple as that. 
Now, if you did have two SIM cards in there, you go to your SIM card settings in there and you can select which SIM card you call out from. So you can either call out from one of the SIMs or you can say, look, can you ask me each time which SIM I want to call from? So that can be changed in the settings there. Now, text messaging is the same. So if you have two SIM cards in there, you can tell the phone which SIM card you want to text out from um, or if it to, for it to ask you each time. So we've got the keyboard here. Obviously, you can have it in landscape or portrait. If you have it in landscape, you get it bigger. Now, let's talk about this screen. This screen is a 5.2 inch IPS screen and it's a beautiful vibrant screen so you can, if I show you from angles here you can see it from whatever angle I turn it to um, it's got a lovely pixel density if I zoom in there you can see the colors about colors are nice and crisp and it's got a real good pixel density it really is a superb screen so if I just show you a bit of video here um, this would be great to watch movies and TV shows on Now, finally, a rugged phone needs to have a great screen to work outdoors in the sunlight. Now, as you can see, I'm outside now. It's fairly sunny and you can see it works outside fine. There's nothing worse than having a phone that you can't see in sunlight. OK, let me show you this great fingerprint reader at the back. So we've got this great fingerprint reader at the back. First, you'll need to set it up. So you just go to the settings and fingerprint setup and you'll need to recognize your fingers um, so you just tap it a few times basically for it to recognize your fingers just change the angle slightly and you can add up to eight or four fingers I think um, on there so once you've done that you can do cool stuff with it so obviously the most easiest one is to unlock your phone so you can see here I'm just tapping it and it unlocks straight away there's some other cool stuff you can do as well um, so let's talk about this intelligent assist now if we go on here um, there's lots of stuff you can do gesture control wise so there's a list there so what I'm gonna do now is just turn off my fingerprint unlock and I can unlock the phone just by swiping up like that I can press C and that will go into the call so that's really cool as well now in the same settings you can do smart answer as well which is great if you're um, working with mucky hands and things you can just bring the phone to your ear and it will answer it. Um, there's some other cool stuff you can do here non-touch unlock and things like that and I'll quickly demonstrate that for you. So I can just unlock it by waving my hand and I can also control the launcher by waving my hand as well so that's really clever um, it can do the same for music as well so I can change the track without touching the phone at all so these are little cool features that you may use and they'll be cool to use if you don't use them they're there for you anyway now while we're on here I can show you how loud the speaker is it's quite a loud speaker which is again important for a rugged phone you may work in a noisy environment so let me just show you how loud this speaker can get okay let's talk about the camera now as with all smartphones it's got a load of settings for the camera there you've also got a variety of modes down here so video photo face beauty which uh, adds some nice filters to your face you got panorama and you've got slr now we'll go back to the slr that refers to the dual camera setup on the back and the front uh, which can give you some nice effects no so let's go back to the photo mode focus on my little monkey man here and we can take a picture we can use a side button but we're just going to use it on screen 
button here. Now if we zoom in here you can see it's an 8 megapixel camera but it does produce a decent image. You can see if I zoom into the monkey it does produce a very nice picture. Now going back to the SLR mode I just took a video outside of me playing around with it. Now with the SLR mode you can do this sort of blur effect. So there's the dial on the side if you push that up and down it will blur around the center or where you're focusing so it adds a nice SLR effect so if I zoom into the picture you can see on the edge on here it's blurring the outside so the SLR function will give you some cool effects now it's got a dual camera setup at the front as well so you could do this to your selfies now as it's a waterproof phone you can take some really cool videos uh, underwater so here's a video that I took with a Rugix phone underwater now this phone also comes with the Play Store. Now the Play Store is Play Store is essential for an Android phone. So from here you can download music, books, TV shows, new apps, new games, everything that you can think of. It's all on the Play Store. So it's imperative that it has the Play Store and this phone does come with the Play Store pre-installed. Okay, what about web browsing on this beautiful screen? Now we we'll go to the BBC website here. So as you can see, it clears it nicely. Text is nice and crisp and clear. And of course you can zoom in and zoom out. So finally, I'd like to show you a few games. Now, you may not do gaming on this, but that's fine. Um, it's nice to know that you've got the power to do gaming. Now this has got a dedicated graphics chip as well as that processor so it can handle games with ease I've not found a game that it can't play so like I said you may not be a gamer but that's fine it's nice to know that it's there should you want to download a few games okay let's wrap this up now this phone is a fantastic choice if you're after a rugged smartphone now it's made by rugged so as I said it's a trusted brand in rugged phones and we've been dealing with them for a number of years and we find their products to be excellent now this phone in particular comes with Android 7 straight out the box so it comes with a really up-to-date operating system it comes with the Play Store so you can install new apps and things it comes with 2 gig of RAM so you can have multitasking more apps open at once it comes with 16 gigs of internal memory which is quite a lot but of course because you've got that SD card you can upgrade it up to 128 gig it comes with that dual camera setup on the back and the front so you can do some cool effects like your SLR camera it comes with a great 3000 milliamp battery so it's plenty of battery life to last you out the day or even a couple of days it's dual sim as well so you can put two sims in it if you need to have two separate numbers or maybe you want one number for your work one number for personal so it's got that it's ip68 rated so it's waterproof up to uh, an hour in a meter deep of water and it's super thin and light for a rugged phone of this caliber it's really thin so if you are after a rugged smartphone, the Rugged Scorpio would make an excellent choice. We highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching this video and we hope you order yours soon.